How did you get revenge on your cheating spouse? I filmed her in the act, posted it online, got her fired from her job, and turned our kids against her. My wife and I had built a life together over the course of 15 years. We had two beautiful daughters, aged 13 and 10, who brought joy and laughter into our home. Our relationship had been strong and filled with love. But as time went on, subtle changes began to surface. My wife became increasingly attached to her phone. She started deleting the saved passwords on our shared computer. I couldn't help but notice that whenever I entered the room, her phone conversations abruptly ended. Now having 15 years of marriage behind us, I was hoping it wasn't what it obviously seemed to be. So one day when she told me she was going to spend some time with the girls, I decided to follow her. Sure enough, I find her driving to a hotel to meet with a guy named Steve. To say it was a gut punch was an understatement. I literally cried for an hour straight. After I was done with my self-wallowing phase, I decided the best course was getting even. I thought of several scenarios that may or may not have involved me hurting Steve. Eventually, I decided to do things more civilly and more importantly legally, but only just. So the first part of the plan was gathering evidence. I could have just gotten a pie, but I had something better in mind. One day when my wife was at her job and the kids at school, I installed some small secret cameras and microphones I had bought. Due to the setup of our bedroom, I managed to perfectly overlook the bed. However, I didn't use them while I was at home. A couple of days later, I proposed to my wife that I should take the girls on a trip and stay the night too. More often than not I was the one cooking. I took a far more active role in raising the girls and showed them a lot more patience and attention. She was usually busy working or drinking, so me going alone with the girls on a trip wasn't that weird. Two weeks later, I got my affairs in order and contacted a lawyer to write up a separation agreement that would involve me keeping residents in custody. I go on the trip and try to not give anything away to the girls and wait and see if Steve and my wife fall into the trap. When I returned, I checked the recordings of the weekend, and sure enough, it was a 36-hour pound fest. When they weren't doing the deed, the dialogue was something even better. I found out that Steve had a wife, but even worse they also talked about me. And I heard the obvious character assassination about how small my pee, -pee was, an insecurity of mine, and how I didn't satisfy her. She told Steve some of my deepest secrets and shameful stories that I had only told her about just so they could have a laugh. She even told him about my dope about how I attempted to take my life when I was 16. So at this point, I didn't have any doubts on what to do. The next day when the kids left, but before my wife left, I confronted her with the video and told her that either she signs the separation agreement and leaves the house, or the girls are going to receive an in-death explanation of all the positions in which mommy cheated on daddy. I wasn't gonna do that, just to be clear, I love my daughters too much, but I put the threat there, and she was too emotional to realize my bluff. She went through all the stages, denying everything, trying to bargain, threatening me, and getting angry. Eventually, she signed the paper, and she departed that very evening after she told her goodbyes to the girls. I didn't show or tell the girls anything graphic, I was always very honest with them, which is another reason why I was always their favorite parent, so I just said mommy had been unfaithful. It didn't take long for my daughters to understand why we had to separate. They were furious that their mother broke the family apart. I knew that she was going to fight me for custody. What I didn't expect was for her to use her visitation rights to talk mess about me. Basically, she started telling my younger kid about how it was all my fault for not forgiving her. Her lawyer even started demanding she receive custody. So I finally activated my revenge plan. Enter a trip to South Carolina. Why South Carolina? Simple. Fort Sumter. I wanted my daughters to see it. I definitely didn't go there because it is one of the last places where revenge content isn't illegal where I could upload my wife and Steve's doings in intimate moments with no worries on the internet, and other such sites as you cannot be prosecuted for crimes that weren't illegal when and where they were committed. I especially made sure to include the clip where Steve couldn't get it up. I sent the links to my wife's employer, her clients, and everybody in her line of work just to be sure, to Steve's wife and to his firm. Steve soon got a divorce. Of course, I feel sorry for his wife as she was an innocent victim in all of this, but I think it's better that she found out. As for my wife, this was the end of any chance to get custody. She soon got fired from her job of eight years. I got custody, yes, due to her being unemployed, I got no alimony, but honestly, I make enough money to sustain both me and the girls, so I don't care and I'm good enough at caring for them.